so it's Kayla and today I'm finally going to do for you the first video in a series I'm going to call Boy Rank. And to kick it off, the first one I'm going to do is a game that I hold a very dear, my very first Ultimate game, and that is Dreamy Days in West Tokyo. So I'm going to be ranking all of the character routes that you can play for Dreamy Days in West Tokyo, and I will let you know my personal favorite and my rank, and also who you might think is best based on your own personality. So let's get started. I'm just going to pull up the app so I can have a quick reference. So first I'll tell you guys a little bit about this game if you haven't played it at all yet. It's called Dreamy Days in West Tokyo and it is by one of my favorite Otome companies, Voltage Inc. The main character of this game, or you, is a girl who was born in West Tokyo and she has a group of friends from her childhood. When she's about six or seven, she moves overseas with her parents to England for school, but she comes back to live in West Tokyo in high school and runs into all of her old childhood friends who are now all super hot guys, of course. Her parents set her up to live with a man named Joji who owns a restaurant called Black Ship that has a spare room above it where we live. She goes to high school with Ichigo Sato, who is the canon route for this game. His father Rinko owns a pastry shop and he loves to make pastries as well. Another guy who goes to your high school is Haruki Tanamura. He is the popular type, a sweet side, and a super cute little sister. His parents own a flower shop in the town. And another character who goes to your high school is is Ryuzo Hata. Ryuzo's family owns a vegetable shop right next to Black Ship for your living. And the last boy who goes to your high school is Takashi Yuno, and his grandma owns a bathhouse which he works at in town and you go to often. There is also a character who doesn't go to your high school but a private school in town and his name is Rahito Hatsune. He is a very skilled pianist and super adorable. He's one year younger than you and you actually thought he was a girl growing up so you're quite surprised to find that he's actually a boy, not as you remembered him from when you were little. So all of those characters are playable routes, including your landlord Joji who is about 10 years older than you. His route is quite different from the other ones, but all of them have a common theme of childhood memories. These childhood memory sections of the stories are basically flashbacks with the character that you have chosen and memories of cute times that you remember with them growing up. I think that's one of the strongest points about this game because it really helps you to bond with the character and to make it feel more realistic and it really gives a unique twist. But now that you guys have an understanding of the story, let's get started with the ranking. So, surprisingly, my number one choice for this game is actually the canon route, Ichigo Sato. Now this may just be because he was the first character I ever played and I'm super attached to his route or something, but I think you all would love it. His character type is Sunure, so he is a little bit mean to the MC at times. Since he works at a bakery, he always teases her about how many cakes she wants to bring home and eat, but truthfully, he really cares about the MC. And I think it's clear in every single route in the flashbacks that he cares about you more so than any of the other characters in my opinion. Because he can have an attitude towards the MC at times, the sweet moments are that much sweeter. He's also described as smelling really sweet like sugar from working in a bakery, and in his route you actually do end up living with him for a time period and developing relationships with some of his family members, so it feels very realistic. Because it's so slice of life, it can really feel like it's your life. I think girls with a playful personality would enjoy him because he is very teasing. Also, if you have a thing for guys who can and cook pastries, you'll definitely love his route. Also, a fun fact about Ichigo is that his name actually means strawberry. So you might notice strawberries are a common theme in some of his special stories and sequels. Up next, my second favorite character, the route that I would recommend to you the most next to Ichigo is actually the manager's route. Now, before I go any further, I do just want to say that I only recommend to you guys his main story and of course sub-stories, but his sequel and his season 2 were really lackluster in my opinion. Now, of course, this route is a little bit scandalous as well because you are 10 years younger than him, but rest assured, nothing too crazy happens. I love Joji's route because there is a lot of mystery in it and a lot of hidden surprises, which make for some great drama and keeps you interested the whole route through. He also is a great cook and a very comforting personality. 
He really cares about the town of West Tokyo, keeping it together, his shop and the people around him, and of course you. One of my favorite things that he does is he makes you hot chocolate whenever you're feeling a bit down or you can't sleep, and sits and talks with you while you drink it. It's super relaxing, and I love all of those moments that he has with the MC. If you like a good and cute mystery interwoven into his story, I think you'd really like his route. I also think you'd like his route if you like to feel like a princess and comforted. You would also obviously enjoy his route if you enjoy someone who is a bit older than you. Okay, so now this is where it gets a bit difficult. Ichigo and Joji really stood out to me as stories that I loved and held really dear. These next few routes, while they weren't quite as good as Joji's and Ichigo's, they were all really, really excellent, and they're about the same amount of excellent, so it's very hard to pick apart the next few stories. My least favorite character, obviously I didn't enjoy his route very much at all, but the 3, 4, and 5 spot were very difficult for me to choose. And just so you guys know, I would recommend them all about the same. But being forced to choose, I believe I would pick to Takeshi for number three. Takeshi Yuno is the stoic and more serious type, but he loves to read comics and manga, and he also is a bit athletic. He loves to run. Towards the end of the story, the main focus and a key point of the story is his position on the track team. He's described as unfriendly, but I think even though he might be a bit standoffish, you can still really feel his true feelings and heart beneath his stoic and icy gaze. He is the doorkeeper at his grandmother's bathhouse, and his grandma in the story is actually a real cute. She's very funny. Throughout the story, there's lots of super cute moments between you and Takeshi, and I think one of the best things and the selling point of his route is that every moment that you guys have together seems so much more special because you have to break through his initial wall before you can get to that moment. I think that girls who are the quiet and shy type would really like his route because they'll be able to relate to him. Also, girls who are the supportive type or the serenade type. Also, if you feel rewarded when you help someone through something, you'll definitely enjoy his route. Now, the next character that I'm going to choose, although very much equal with Takashi in my mind, is Rihito. Rihito Hatsune is the flirty, cutesy type of the bunch. He's very sociable and a bit mischievous as well. He is a year younger than the MC and goes to a different private school. He plays the piano, which is so cute. I think baking and musically inclined boys are like two of the cutest things ever. One of the cute things about his route is the fact that you thought he was a girl when you guys were younger, and every time there's a flashback and the MC refers to Richie as a girl, he starts crying nonstop stop and everybody calls him a crybaby and the MC comforts him, but really the reason he's crying is because of her. So it's really cute and makes a funny story to talk about later on as adults. One thing I didn't like very much about his route is his mom. You guys will see why if you play it, but she's just not the nicest. I don't know, I never warm up to her. I think you'll really enjoy Rikito's route if you like a playful and bubbly type of boy. You are very flirty yourself or like very flirty boys. And also, if seeing someone try really hard to be with you makes you want to be with them more. So number five, which is the second to last, but definitely not least, he is very equal to Takashi and Rikito in my mind, and that is Ryuzo Hata. Ryuzo works at a vegetable shop. He is a Yankee type character, which, um, how do I explain this? Yankees are kind of like brusque and rough types. They're actually really sweet. I don't know how to explain it. One of the cutest things about his character is that he really enjoys taking care of kids and he's really good with kids. He has two younger siblings and all of the moments with him and his family are so heartwarming and sweet. I love that so much about this route. I think he also might be a year older than the MC if I remember correctly. He's really protective and sweet although one of his down points is he can be a bit ditzy at times but it's really funny and cute. His personality is described as as natural leader and short temper. I don't know that he really has a short temper, but he does get frustrated quickly. But it's more in an endearing way. It's really not a bad point about his character. And you guys really have a good friendship. He actually reminds me of one of my best friends, who I call Biggs. <laughs> I know, kind of a funny name. But yeah, they have really similar personalities, and their friendship reminds me of our friendship. So I enjoyed that in the route as well. I think you'd like this route if you enjoy funny guys. You like to feel protected, and you like to be close with the guy you're with family as well, because family plays a huge role in his rap. Okay, lastly, we are at my least favorite character, number six, a character that I would recommend you to play, and that is Haruki. Now, Haruki is alright, I mean, I guess I did play his route all the way through, although it took me a while because I just found it really boring and hard to play, to be honest. He's just so basic, it's like he has no personality whatsoever, he's just a nice guy 
works at the flower shop, and yeah, that's really it. One of the cutest things about his route is his relationship with his little sister. His little sister gets a crush on one of the other characters, little brothers, and he gets super jealous and doesn't want her to go hang out with him, which is kind of cute. That's the only moment that he really shows a personality. Otherwise, he is really blank. He serves a good role in some of the other routes. He kind of just serves as like a gay best friend who talks to you about the guy that you like and helps you out. Yeah, I just can't see him as a romantic interest. I don't know. If you guys have played him, let me know what you think. You might like his route if you're into just kind of like a happy-go-lucky, dependable kind of guy, but uh, I don't know. He's just so boring. He's super cute though. I mean, he has that going for him. Okay guys, well that is my very first boy rank video. That is the way that I would rank them. Let me know in the comments below if you've played all of the routes or just of the routes that you have played, what your ranking is for them and why. And make sure your comments don't include spoilers. That way, if someone is looking through the comments for tips on who to play next, they don't get the route spoiled for them. Also, last thing I'd like you to leave in the comments is which game you want me to do next for the boy rank. I've played almost all of the characters in most of the Voltage games, so I'd be happy to do any of those. A couple that I have definitely played every single route for are Be My Princess, My Two Bedroom Story, uh, what else? I believe Class Trip Crush. I've played a lot of them in Starcross Myth. So any of those games or any other games that you guys can think of, I'd be happy to do a boy rank for. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!